taking a look at Cloud on the other side. Only eight kills, but he had 22 assists that game. He's going to need to get a little bit more help from the rest of his team. They're going to need to start team shooting together if they want to stop straight ripping going into game two. Now, is that one of the, one of the more underrated stats? We always look at the kills. We look at the depths. But the assists, that, that, you know, that really goes to showing the team kills. You're helping your teammates out. You're putting shots in the people. I always thought assists were a huge part of the game. A player like Karma, for instance, in Halo 2, loved assists. He didn't care about kills. He wanted to have, he would end game zero kills with 19 assists and be happy. And there you go. You saw the score right there, straight ripping. One, taking game one as they take the lead over, believe the hype right now. Very, very entertaining game. And there we you, got... You see Coach Logan in the background. Sitting there right there. He's ready. He's got his team all pumped up. And we got game two coming at you right now. All right, Scott. We all know Narrows. There's rockets on it. There's snipers on it. Who's going to be controlling the sniper in this game? Who do you want to watch to open this one up? All right, well... Yeah. Clutch? Is Fair enough. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going right, to say. All right, exactly. Next, he asks who's going to get the sniper. Clutch says it's me. Let's see if he grabs it. I'll do, I'll do a landmine. I'll do a landmine. I'll do a landmine. I'll create a landmine. I'll create a landmine. I'll do, I'll do. Clutch with the sniper, and Snipedown had one, too. Snipedown is going to take him down. So I want to jump on board with Snipedown, as it looks like Clutch is immediately going to go right back after his sniper rifle. But Snipedown is using his rifle as he picks up a kill. There on Cypher. Oh! Back in five seconds, folks. Don't worry. Just missed the ice icicle there. Get that sniper. <laughs> you, you can snipe the icicles in this game, Brooke. Yes, yeah, so hey, you, you know what? That is a big difference maker in this game. All right. If you're sitting power up and you try to snipe a guy at rockets and the icicle comes out, you miss the shot. That's all I was trying to say. <laughs> snipe out, putting shots across the map. His teammates leaving his sniper rifle for him, and this is why already hit sniper once. Demon D, he's no shield. Battle rifle from Legit is going to clean that one up. Watch though with a solid VR jumping to the straight rip and flag is going to take him down. Snipe down leading all players though with four kills already. So, every time I see Snipe down respawn, it seems he just goes right back to where he died to find that sniper right. rifle. Yeah, and he has every right to. I mean, he's absolutely destroying with it, and he's possibly the best sniper in the league. His reaction time is just ridiculous. You see him getting shot, gets behind a bit of cover, and then pokes right back out and hits Clutch in the body as his teammate cleans up the kill. And I was talking to Snipe down, and he said, you know, I don't aim for the head always. I just try and hit players in the body because I know my teammates will finish the kills. There you see. He hit the clutch in the body, cleaned up the kill, and then he hit another player in the body as he cleaned up the kill. So everyone from Believe the Hype is basically spawning with no shields here. It is not a fair game playing straight ripping on narrows. And you have to like how much Snipe Down's changed his playing style. He simply, he used to just keep his sniper out. Now if he hits a guy with the sniper, he'll pull out his VR and get the guaranteed kill. And right there with that sniper control, Snipe Down helps his team take a 12 kill lead right now. First one of 50 is going to win. But we're about 15 seconds away from the snipers coming right back up. Absolutely, Farouk, and we're going to probably see Snipe Down go right down for that sniper rifle, or is he going to go for Believe the Hype sniper rifle? Because, you know, they're just controlling the map here. Uh, it looks like he's going to grab his, but as you noted, you know, this game is already halfway over for Stray Ripping. Believe the Hype, they're really going to need to turn something around, and Demon D is trying to do that. He just picked up a triple kill as Snipe Down is the last member alive for Stray Ripping. He's going for the nose scope. And nice teamwork there from Straight Ripping, legit jumping in, taking the shots for Snipe Down and picking up the kill on Clutch over on Man Cannon's side. Demon D, you're not sneaky enough, sir. It's an 11 kill lead. Snipe Down still controlling the power weapon. Key squared, he's controlling top middle with some beatdowns and legit just got the rockets as you see on Snipe Down's screen. Snipe Down playing pretty aggressive right now with that sniper. And you know what I like is he's not using no scopes like we saw Nated try and do last night. Instead, he was switching to that battle rifle and he was doing some damage with that up top middle. And legit, it's going to be taken out in the Believe the Hype base with the rocket, so that is going to give BTH the power weapons to work with. Cloud's got a sniper rifle to work with as well. Snipe down, you see, in the battle with him. But nice grenades from Clutch is going to force Snipe down to run away. The score 36 to 24. They're holding on to that 12 kill lead. And you, if you're watching Snipe down right now, you've got to take notes. I mean, he's constantly moving, putting shots into anything that moves. I mean, he's definitely shoot first, ask questions later. 
and he wants more sniper. Oh! <laughs> Taking down Cloud, grabbing those two bullets. Let's see if he puts those to use. No, Cypher's gonna shut him down. Scott, do we stay on board with him? You know, let's shine, shine some light somewhere else. Let's go T squared. Haven't seen much. Or Clutch, because he picked up a headshot. Sorry, he, I saw T squared, I saw Clutch. I was like, who's gonna kill who there? Okay. It was Clutch. Fair enough. I got lucky. Not gonna lie. <laughs> No, you're right, though. I do want to check out what T-Squared is doing. Clutch, his team's still stuck in their base. It's no fun to watch a slaughter. Sniped out, doing work with the battle rifle. Last night, we saw him go absolutely off in the game five versus Carbon. He only had three assists, but he put up 21 kills. To me, Chris, I don't know if you want to note on it, but it looks like the lead the hype's terrified to leave their base, just because Sniped out may have a sniper. You know, they're, they're hiding behind cover the whole time. They're either L3 or R3, and that allows L Might Warrior and T Squared to just bum rush top middle and push in on you. And that's the last thing you want from a team for straight ripping to give them middle control. Yep. I believe the hype said that one thing we need to work on is our confidence. They aren't showing too much here, and their team shot is not the same team shot that we saw in their game against Triggers Down. They're really going to have to start working together more. And there you have it straight ripping. Crushing that game, oh, 50 to 35. We're gonna check out the stats here. Legit putting up some huge numbers. He went plus five. Meanwhile, you got sniped out. He only died five times. That's a plus eight. No one from Believe the Hype going positive, and it's hard to go positive when you can't leave your base. Very, very true. Not only that, but we've got the score right now. Straight ripping two over Believe the Hype, who has a donut on the board right now. But we're going to keep it going. Yeah. And when we come back, we got game number three. Scott, game. game.